Alright, what's up guys? We are back at it again with another YouTube video for you today. Another install. So, uh, my headlights have been done. Obviously, you've seen the video. The one thing that was not done was the LED pods. Um, reason one is because it has been so freaking cold that I have just hated taking the truck apart and being outside to work on it. Uh, so I was waiting for a nice day, which it is today. And also I wanted to make a separate video on it for anybody who um, is unsure how to wire things to a toggle switch. Obviously the, the halos and the demon eyes, they're on like my phone and like a remote, so you don't have to actually install anything. Um, it's all plug and play, but this you're actually gonna have to run wiring and yada, yada, yada. So what you're gonna need is obviously, there we go. You're going to need a toggle switch, a inline fuse, doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter at all, uh, and then some wiring, some wire strippers, a drill, drill bit, uh, however you want to mount your toggle switch, and find where you want to put it. So mine is going to be going right here, like so. So it'll go in right there, real sleek. You won't even you'll be able to even tell it's in there. Uh, and then what you're gonna need are these little this lighting is awful, I apologize. These flag connectors is what they're called. You just crimp them on, and then they will obviously go onto the back of the toggle switch. So I'll see if I can get the right lighting and it'll focus. So if you look at the toggle switch right there, so the negative is marked gold it's a different color and then you're going to see a 12 volt in the middle and then dc so what this means is and i can i can throw a picture up too the negative is just going to be grounded off or you can run it to the battery and put it on the negative there it doesn't matter it just needs to be grounded off somewhere the 12 volt is going to run to the battery positive and that's where you are going to tie in the inline fuse and then the DC the one on the end is going to be a positive wire that runs directly to the lights the light bar whatever you're doing so it'll make more sense once I get it all set up and going but so first thing you want to do is find where you are putting your toggle switch which I have done and then start running the wires from here to the hood and I will show you how I do that in just a second okay so then this is what it should look like here I got the negative and then the two positives tied in I'm going to feed the wires through the hole here and snap in the toggle switch so that part is done and then what I like to do I forgot to mention is it doesn't matter but you do have two positive wires so whichever one you would like to identify I like to just take a little bit of electrical tape put it around the end of it so I know so I know that this one when it's all fed through and I can't uh, tell which wire is going uh, supposed to be going to the light bar or to the battery so this one is going this will go to my pods and I just put a little electrical tape on the end so now I know to run this one to the pods not the battery just a little tip so something I always like to do is when you get real uh, close around these wiring harnesses sometimes under this plastic is hidden grounds and I just so happen to find one because I've never taken this plastic off. So right here is actually a stock ground that already has a nice uh, bolt and washers there. So what I went ahead and did is tied the negative. You can see it, that blue right there. That is actually my negative wire. I just put, I don't even know what they're called, the little circular uh, clamps on, connectors, whatever, and it bolts right on. So now my negative is done. I can push that back in and I'll show you so I got one zip tie right there, and then it's zip tied right there to the stock wiring harness. So it is virtually invisible, and you would never know it is there. So now what I need to do is try and find a way to get the positive wires through the firewall to the battery and the lights. Okay, so update for you guys here. What I went ahead and did is took the route of, I found this little, where is it at? It's just a dust cover. It just sits right in that hole there. I went ahead and drilled a hole through it. I'm gonna feed the wires through it and then I'll put the dust cover back on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and run it through right there. You can see the crease in the fender to the front. 
I have personally, I've had issues before with running wires through the firewall, so I am not going to take that route this time. But basically, it is ran underneath the carpet in the exact same path as the negative was. I went up and you see the red wire there, went up and behind that, and then there's a hole in right there where the wires came through, fed them through. So now, like I said, I'm gonna feed through the dust cover, put the dust cover back on and run it through the hood and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so here's what you're left with. Obviously drill the smallest hole possible that you can to get the wires through. What I actually did, I threw a little bit of electrical tape on it now, but I fed the wires through separately. So it's still a nice tight seal. It's gonna keep out any dust, debris, anything you may have an issue with that. So now we're gonna go ahead and just run these wires up and behind the hood. Okay, so when it runs through, it's gonna come through here. If you keep it under here, feeding it through, there's gonna be an opening. Sorry, the light's bad. It's gonna be an opening right here. Feed them through here. And now I have them pulled through. So then, then now, this is where uh, your inline fuse would tie in. So, uh, luckily there's actually a difference. So I obviously, um, I'll untape the end here. The one that had the electric tape around it, whichever one you marked, you'll know which the difference is. Mine with the electrical tape on it is the one going to the lights. So the one that doesn't have electrical tape on it is the one that's going to have the inline fuse ran to it. So then you can, uh, you can put the inline fuse literally anywhere you want to on here if you so like I could put it there and zip tie it there. It's completely up to you where you want to put your inline fuse from here. Just need to be somewhere on the positive wire before it ties into the battery. And the other positive wire is going to power the lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these cut in, get the uh, inline fuse in, and I'll show you what's next. Okay, just an update guys. Uh, I got the positive. I know this is a disaster. I still need to tidy this up. But here is the inline fuse. It is tied into the positive of the battery. So then I ran the other positive down behind here underneath all this wiring and had it drop out right here, which then I spliced in a, this is also going to be a positive. I just actually ran out of red. So this just, remember this is a positive. This wire is going to run across the truck and tie into the positive on the other pod. So then positive pod, positive pod, positive to the toggle switch, okay? So you will need to have a, another positive wire that runs across your vehicle or wherever your other pod is and have it meet up. So, uh, so this will be, like I said, this is gonna be the one positive to the pod that is gonna run across, be the other positive to the pod. And then all you need to do is uh, if you wanted to use the wiring or whatever, you could take a negative wire, run it across, and have it meet up with the negative wire of the pod as well, but it just needs to be grounded. So all I'm going to probably do is sand some paint here and put in a self-tapping screw or something of that nature. I haven't fully decided yet, but just like with the negative on the toggle switch, you just need to ground off the actual negatives on the pods. So once I get that done, I'll actually show you what I'm talking about and give you a little bit of visual representation. All right guys, so shortly after telling you all, I would just ground them to the metal. Then I realized, or remembered I should say, that uh, they are inside my headlight. So I can't just uh, self tap screw them to the frame or anything like that because I would have to take that off every time I wanted to get my headlight off. So what I went ahead and did is the exact same thing that I did with the positive wire is I just put it on a spade connector and then I have the opposite end of the spade connector, the flag connector, whatever it's called, on the actual light itself. So they'll be able to plug in and uh, unplug them whenever I need to, ran it across, split it, tied it in just like I did with the positive and it is ran up and connected with the battery or with the stock ground so now what i'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug these in hook the battery back up and ideally 
that you should turn on with the toggle switch. So let's find out. All right, so headlights are back in. Negative terminals on. Let's see if it works. Okay, so the light came on. Showing they're on. Boom, there's one. And there is two. They both work fantastic. Light turns off. And they're off. Alright guys, so that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it on how to uh, wire LED light bars, LED pods. It's going to apply to any of that to a toggle switch. Like I had said, um, I personally couldn't just ground off the negative, so I had to use a little bit of extra wire. But if they're going in like, if the light bar is just being mounted, if it's a light bar and it's just being mounted and you're not taking it off, then obviously you can just ground it to metal. You don't have to do what I did with running it around, but I had to so that I can take my headlights out. But that is the video, guys. If you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe for more how-tos, more product reviews, more crap going into this money pit that I call my truck. Uh, until next time, peace.